Remember our hundreds chart looked like this? Let's put the numbers in. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. Now let's just shrink it down. Back to the size that the hundred square is. Here it is. A hundred square inside the hundreds column. One hundred, zero tens and zero units. Equals one hundred and let's one more time look at our different columns in the number 100. We break it up into three columns. The one is in the hundreds column. There are zero tens in the tens column and zero units in the units column. Well done. It's time for you to do a worksheet now. Good luck with your worksheet.